This is Air Gunner's Edge with the Hatson Flash 22 caliber. Uh, this is a continuance of the last video that er abruptly got shut off, and I do apologize. I had too many videos on my phone and not enough storage. So that was my fault, and I do apologize. I ended off with the stock, and that's where I'm going to continue. We'll just start here. Um, for a tripod, light, or anything else, if you wanted to install that, there's room and accessory for it. Um, the overall thinness of this gun is absolutely fabulous. I did get a chance to take it and shoot it probably about 20 pellets uh, while I had a misfunction with my phone and I was cleaning it up. Uh, it was shooting great. I did have one issue when I did top it off with my hand pump. I was using the hand pump gauge and i overfilled it just a little bit and uh i had slower velocity i was down to about 730 720 so always go by the gauge of the gun which i found out and not my hand pump but after i got a few shots off and the pressure was steadily increasing and it was about 770 760 i know it still needs time to break in but uh that's where I was at, and from the crowning videos that I saw, and it was rising, so I think I'll be up to about 800, and uh, if not, then I'll tinker with it and get it out of it. <laughs> I have a feeling if it's low, then I can adjust the hammer, so that will be no issue at all. Uh, the trigger is beautiful on this, uh, right out of the box. I have no complaints. I will adjust it later on. Um, I topped it off a little while ago. Let me just uh, I'm gonna flip this over now. This thing is so light. It's just unbelievable. Uh, there's your fill gauge there. And I'm just below. I was over the red, uh, unfortunately, using the hand pump, and I was watching that gauge. So if you do, just keep an eye on the gun gauge. That seems to be pretty accurate and know right where it is. I've already found all the screws to take this apart. One there, one there. I'll take the trigger screws off. I'm sure one of those holds it on also. But this, I have a feeling, is going to be an easy gun to work on. Um, I will be tuning it, as I stated before. I will uh, check the port and uh, see if I can enlarge it. Hammer spring. Um, I'll go through it all and see what else I can get out of it. Uh, like I said, shot count isn't my thing. As long as I have accuracy and power, that's why I bought this rifle for hunting. And uh, a little target practice, but uh, the safety is actually, now that I've been using it and moving it back and forth, it's really not as bad now. So I think it just needs time to break in. And also... Let me flip this around once more. Uh, loading. This is actually very easy once you have two hands on it and not holding it with the camera. It's really not that bad. And even for the short amount of time I was using it, I had no issues. It was comfortable and it was free floating. It was nice. Um... This is also a choked barrel. I forgot to mention that in the beginning. So I'm going to see how that has any effect to it or anything. Uh, right here, there is a flat spot on the QE housing. It just gives it that space under there. Um, like I said, I do love the wider band. It's uh, You don't feel like you have to be so gentle with it. Careful, but you don't have to be gentle. Uh, I did have one issue. This has nothing to do with the gun. Um, but when I was out there and I went to sight it in, I had very little to no vertical adjustment. And I had to come back in and loosen this up. And my scope's all set now anyways. Uh, but I was all the way at the bottom below uh, the mill dot. And I was trying to shoot. I did manage to get... Probably 10 pellets, dime size at 25 yards. So, even though I was holding so high. But, uh, 
other than that, that was a beautiful thing. Oh, uh, one other thing, as I was stating, I didn't like that open porthole. They do give you a plug with an O-ring on it to put in there after you're done filling. I'm still going to look for a nice cap, a little rubber plastic cap to put in there. But you just put this back in there once you're done, and hopefully it stays in there. I don't know how well that's going to work out, but... Uh, let's see if I can Okay, yeah, see that's easier to cut another option and well piece that I found that I did like Is the shooting tray single shot? This will go in Yes, just like this There's a little Clip on here That clip just goes right around there for a single shot tray. I love it because what doesn't fit in the mag are the Hornets and the poly mags. So I haven't tried it in the single tray, but I'm pretty much going to guess that they will fit in the single shot tray. So I still get to use my favorite pellets, uh, especially for penetration. And the poly mags seem to do almost excellent in every gun I have. Um, so that's another plus right there. It pops. It's not clamped. The gun's not clamped down, so I'm just trying to be careful, and it pops right out. So I had no jamming issues. These were nice and smooth. So Hatson did good by redesigning these, and compared to all the videos where they were loose and shaky, and other people complained about it jamming. So I don't know why this was brought back for refurbish, but I'm glad they did, and I'm glad I have it now. Uh, so far, I am very impressed with this rifle, and uh, until I get some more accuracy and power testing, I'm going to have to call it a night, and I wish everybody good shooting. And I once again apologize for that uh, little video mix up there, but uh, try and make, uh, make it good by making this part two, and I will see you all on the other side.